Page 41, cord caper. Another three minute technique. A little bit about rotation and a little bit about looking at stuff that looking really ugly. Well, examine it a little more closely. If you break it up into its bits and pieces, then you find out maybe it's not so ugly. I look it over, I see it's a page long. Trouble on bass clef, one flat in the key signature. We're still in the key of F major, so do the scale for F major and go ahead and do the scale for D minor also because it has one flat in its key signature. 4-4 four, four time and we got all these chords going on. Broken chords. Take the right hand. For instance, you could take all the notes in the first measure. It's simply an F chord, a one chord. In the next measure, it's a four chord, one chord. You go down to measure nine, it's here. It's a five chord. We're not using the seven, but uh, we could not. And then measure 10, that's the four chord again. You come up. And then at the end, it's F sus four. What? We'll talk about this sus stuff going on. I think, ooh, it's ooh. It just alters the harmony, gives a little bit of an edge. You have an F chord. You can take any chord, we'll do use an F. The middle note, when you get the sus, we're altering the middle note. A sus4 means instead of the third, third, because one, two, three, this is the third. Instead of the third, we're going to play the fourth here. That's all that is. I could have a one sus2. That would mean instead of the third, we're going to play the second. It's not going to. Or. You see these in music. That's what they are. That's all they are. So it's just a one sus4 and then a one. Similar to a five seven. Except we're not using that, we're using that. Yeah. Depends on what the composer wanted and what the sound they want. Now once I have the chords, you know what they are. They're okay. Then we add in this broken stuff. One and two and three and four. We've had this rhythm before, but again, if it causes you problems, then take out those ties and play all those notes. One and two and and two in, and once you have an idea of that, put the tie in. Just hang on to it instead of playing it again. One and two and three and four. And the question comes up, well, why are they using two eighth notes tied together? Why don't you just use a quarter note? It's the same thing. And the answer is, it makes it a little easier in this particular study what we're doing to see the rhythm if we break it up and you see each eighth note. Otherwise you bet you could use a quarter note in there. There's nothing wrong with that. Then the left hand isn't doing much. Here you go. Oh, you're down here. Okay. Now measure four, you're one and two. Same rhythm and that's just an F chord. When you're going from measure to measure and using the same notes from here to here, that's okay, we can get away with it. Another way of doing it would be to use 2 4. Instead of 5 3, I can use 2 4. Here. And then I'm ready. And then going on, you use 2 4 on the first one. Or, it's easier in my opinion, if you just use 2 4 to begin with. For the F chord throughout, use 2 4, and then you can go here. You can do that. And if I were actually running across this sort of thing in music, that's how I would finger it. It'd be 2 4. Now, when you get to measure 9 here, you can do that. 4 here. It's five is a little easier, but I need four on the last one because in measure ten I got a little finger again. And the thumb is covering both. And then the last measure I'd come down like that. That's how I would do it. However, the fingering in the book is fine. There's diff different ways of fingering it. There's different fingering styles, different ways of approaching it. As far as the articulation goes, they don't give you much. You get a staccato at the end. 
You could add other staccatos if you felt like it. It doesn't say anything. You do what you want. I could do that, or I could do that. I could do staccatos there. It's my imagination. It's whatever. It's interpreting the music. These, I suggest you connect these whole notes. However you want to do it. Dynamics, MF, that's pretty much it. It's just sort of in the middle, loud part of the middle. That's going to be the right hand, the chords. Keep this soft, because when you're down here, it's easy to drown out up here on a piano. So keep this really soft down here. Like sense. One, two, three, four. One, two. Is that the syncopated notes you play those out? Because we expect. It's one, two, three, but we're playing that other note quicker. So you accent it. So it's part of interpreting the music, it's part of feeling the music. Speed-wise, it's in the middle somewhere, to whatever. Not fast, not slow, just somewhere. Let's play this together very slowly and check the notes and the rhythms. I'll give us four counts. One and two and ready and go and. One and two and three and. 